Hi, it's Adina Jackson. Um, actually, I've been up on my for um, vlogging for health. Um, I've been very inconsistent with doing my videos, and the reason is because I've been really busy um, sorting out a lot of stuff for my son's school um, starting in a, like a week and a half. So I've just been kind of getting all that sorted out, and I've also I've had a lot of work to do. But um, I'm actually on day 37 of my um, of my 100 days um, challenge thing. And I'm doing a bit of a U-turn um, because yesterday I went for a health scan, which is basically where you get hooked up to a machine and they scan, they, they basically check for potential dangers in your body. So it doesn't necessarily say, oh, this is the situation. What it does, is it will tell you that there might be some potential issues in the future if you don't work on certain things. Um... And to be quite honest with you, I have heard about these scans before, and I know that they can be, they are accurate um, to some extent. But I also know that the people that do them also kind of try to, they try to sell you products afterwards by saying, "Okay, this is the situ this is the situation. You need to buy these supplements and that supplements." And supplementation is not something that I really... I'm not someone that takes, like, a lot of supplements. And so I kind of opted not to buy their products and said, OK, right, I'm going to... I'm going to... Um, and so I opted, opted to, to just use my own methods that I've I've been using for the, over the past couple of months anyway. A couple of years, actually, um, to sort of try and heal myself. And... As you guys know, I was fully raw at a certain point, F fully raw vegan at one point, and I just sort of decided that I wanted to add a little bit of fish into my diet, so I was like 80% raw and then with a bit of fish, and I don't really think it's working for me. Um, it tastes better, but I don't think it's working for me um, in the sense of trying to heal myself, so... I've decided for the next 63 days, is it 63 days, of the diet, of the, um, of the, uh, 100 days to tone it up, I'm going to be fully raw, so I'm basically just going to say 60 days raw, um, I'm just going to go through the list of the things they said I've got issues with, and they said I need to have, that I have lymphatic congestion, um, and... They said my heart capacity is insufficient. They said I have liver fat, fat in my blood, lung capacity issues, memory issues, which I don't really think that's the case, but anyway. Blood sugar issues. They said that at some point my blood sugar could be going up if I don't deal with it. It's right in the middle, but it could be going left or right, meaning it could go bad or good. Um, they said my thyroid has got issues, which... I am aware of that, but um, I'm also aware of the fact that it was rectified. So I don't know if it's gone back to the old state or if they're just chatting rubbish. Um, they said that I've got insufficiency of vitamins A, B, B2, B3, C and E. And that's the main issue. And I'll tell you what this lady said to me. She said, I need... Dietary advice, detoxification, treatment for specific health needs, blood sugar, brain blood circulation, vitamins. And she said, that's going to cost me £600. And then she said, I need to also do deto detoxification um, um, advice and course, which is going to cost me £250. Um, and then she also recommended these supplements called Relive, which I don't really think I'm going to be taking, to be honest with you, because... I've gone on their site and read some of the ingredients on there. And to be honest with you, I don't want to consume that kind of stuff. So I'm not going to be taking that stuff. Um, but it's like this, she's saying basically nearly a £1,000 for the treatment, which I spoke to someone who is also a nutritionist and natural holistic practitioner. And she basically said to me, a lot of the time, that's what they do. They do these health checks. And they make things really, really exaggerated so that you pay the money to do all the stuff that's needed. So 
I do know that I do have some health insufficiencies in vitamins and I do think that I do have lymphatic issues and I know that I've had kind of, I've felt a bit funny sometimes in terms of my breathing and everything. Um, that's obviously because of the fact that I'm overweight. So the main issue is just weight loss and cleansing and detox detoxification and really in my experience the only way to do that is fu it's fully raw. I'll be honest with you, I don't enjoy being fully raw I don't enjoy the food um it's okay but it doesn't make me feel satisfied like like you know having like a massive bowl of rice or having like a salad with fish in it or something but that's what I have to do really um some people are vegans just for the animals I'm vegan because for my health I was vegan for my health um I did feel better being vegan but I obviously kind of went over to being pescatarian so to speak but 100% 80% raw um it's not even because I'm indecisive it's not even so much about indecisiveness it's also because I I enjoy certain foods and I sort of thought okay let me try and incorporate this and just add like loads of veg and fresh fruits and vegetables on top of it but I don't think it's working um I can see weight loss but that's about it really in terms of feeling healthier I just don't feel the way I felt when I was on the raw so I'm just going to be back on the raw for 60 days and see how it goes from there um so today's day one basically I wouldn't say it's day one because I'm day, I'm on day 37 of my 100 days to tone it up but in terms of fully raw I'm fully raw from today so that's day one of my fully raw so 60 days um so I've basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to do 60 days from now um, in terms of fully raw um, and that will that will add up to my 100 days of um, 100 days to tone it up if, if so to speak. So instead of saying day 37 um, and then day um, one of my fully raw, I'm just going to say day one of my fully raw um, journey instead because I really don't want to go through the whole like rigmarole of sort of like trying to explain I might just do a separate video of the explanation I might do that I don't know but I probably won't bother we're just going to say now that today is day one of my fully raw um and I might do a separate video of the food that I'm consuming and stuff for the day just so it makes it clear for everybody this is just like an explanation of what I'm going to be doing and then obviously the next video will be like actually like the food I'm gonna be consuming so that's all I'm gonna be showing you from now on the food that I'm consuming for my fully raw journey and I'm gonna do um 60 days of fully raw recipes on my vegan fresh channel so if you uh haven't actually checked that out well check it out it's eat fresh live fresh now actually um check it out and I'll be just doing recipes on this so every every day um of this journey I'm gonna do at least a video of my like of some kind of recipe Whatever it's going to be. Anyway. Peace out.